morning guys, it's pretty early. I've just had a quick breakfast, so just to let you know, the device that I'm gonna use to track my steps is gonna be my phone, and the camera that I'm using now is also my phone. So it's not ideal. What I'll do is I'll just do a couple of screen recordings and then show you my progress as I go on, I guess. I am coming up to 1,000 steps. So, we've broken the four figure mark. We're up early, aren't we? Go on, have your breakfast. Yep. We carry on, we've just lost a good precious few seconds saying good morning to that cat. So off the main road now, I'm gonna to head to the park. Here we are. What time is it now? Let's have a look. Five past six. We've got some runners here, or joggers. So I've walked about 6,500 steps now. Yeah, I've been walking for about an hour and 10 minutes. We've just hit the five figure mark. We have surpassed 10,000 steps, which means I have hit my target. If my aim was 10,000 steps, which it usually is, but not for today. So yeah, as promised, let's take a picture. So nearly done one lap of Lumpini, just past 16,000 steps. Won't be long before I hit 20K, get my second milestone picture, and then we can go from there. Ah, Lumpini, you've been really good to me. Thank you. It's time to say bye. I'm gonna walk on the main road now. Time to switch up the surroundings. The exit is right there, back to the street. Still got about 10 minutes before they open. Can you see that? I mean, I'm not the only one. I kind of hope they open soon because I'm getting a little bit warm. I've done about two laps literally down here. And I'm probably gonna keep doing that for the next 10 minutes. So I've just passed 25,000 steps. My health app has told me that I've burned nearly a thousand calories and I've walked over 18 kilometers. So. If you do keep walking non-stop like a waste man like me, you can actually burn a good couple of calories, plus the distance does stack up. First time I've had a sit down in like five hours and you have no idea how good that feels. I've just ordered my food. Obviously, whilst I was waiting, I was walking like crazy non-stop around the food court. So I'm in the Central World Food Court at the moment. I've got my food here. I'll spin the camera around so you can see, but I'm super hungry now. So I'm gonna try and eat this in less than 10 minutes so we can get back to walking.
we have just hit 30k steps. Here's the picture. Let's crack on. I've been in Central World for about an hour, two hours now, including eating. Let's switch it up a bit. Thirty-two thousand steps now and counting. Honestly, this walk is like paradise. Next to the fountains, palm trees. Oh, majestic. Back in the sunshine again outside. Just walked out a couple of department stores back to back. There's like a skywalk which connects them, which is nice because I'm in the aircon. Just going to walk to MBK Centre, which is where they actually sell football shirts, unofficial football shirts that is. Fried potato balls, really crispy, really soft to eat. My favourite since I was younger. Also picked this shirt up from just behind one of those streets there. Ready for the World Cup this year because this is my third change of shirt now because it is quite humid. It's not sunny, it's cloudy, but it's still really humid. So it's nice to get a fresh shirt on. Let's continue walking. Just hit 40k. Here's the picture, and here is the evidence. So, as you can tell from my surroundings, a little bit far out of central Bangkok now, moving more towards the west where there is the Grand Palace and the temples, the rural parts of Bangkok, if you like. So, let's keep going. The time is, can you see that? 20 to 2 actually. I'm walking by Chang Rongsi intersection and it's funny I, I was at the giant swing just now and since then I've had two locals just come up to me and speak to me in English and ask me oh hello where are you from it'd just be so funny if I turn around and just said Kon Tai Ka yeah I guess this England shirt doesn't help I just look like a complete tourist with this little selfie camera anyway that's the beauty I've got like a disguise on they think I'm a Farang which I kind of am let's continue walking and exploring Twenty minutes to four, 50,000 steps done. We just keep going. I'm gonna take a picture in a few minutes up ahead. My previous personal best with steps was actually 25,000 back in London in 2020 and then I hit that again in Oxford this past summer. But 50,000 is unbelievable.
Well, there you have it. That is the challenge complete, the goal to fit in as many steps as I can in a single day. The grand total is 60,489 steps. I managed to walk over 45 kilometers and I managed to burn well over 2,000 calories. So for me, that is a real eye-opener. I definitely wasn't expecting the numbers to be as high as that. One thing I will note though, is that time is more of an obstacle than fatigue was. Yes, my legs are tired, but I felt that I probably could have managed another couple thousand steps. But I think it's just the fact that I ran out of time a little bit. I didn't want to walk in the dark completely. Sure, I could do 70 or 80,000 steps, but that would literally mean me spending every waking hour of the day walking and that's just not much fun. I mean, it was already pretty grueling as it was. In the previous video I said a good guide would be 10,000 steps a day. So going back to the aim of having a step count in mind, how many steps should you take a day? Well, ideally you'd like to take around 10,000 steps a day. There's numerous articles and sources online that suggest that this figure is optimal. Now, when you're walking to the shops, you're walking to work and you're walking to the gym, you're walking because you have to get somewhere. In the challenge today, I felt like the first 10, 20,000 steps, no problem, it felt good fun. But then as it got towards 25, 30,000, that's where it felt like I was walking for the sake of it. Yes, I was walking, I was seeing some touristy sites, I was having a good time, but more often than not, there were times where I felt like I could do with the rest here. But in the back of my mind, I was like, no, I need to keep pushing the steps out to try and really get that number up. So it did feel like a bit of a chore and a burden towards the end, but Bottom line is, if you can get your step count up, then you'll be guaranteed to be a lot more active. I think in today's modern society, a lot of us are stuck with being pretty inactive, sat at desk offices all day, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. But yeah, this video was really good fun to make. A bit of a switch from the informative videos that I make, I'll try and switch it up a bit. To give the video a like if you enjoyed it, that would help me out a lot. And do consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.